video let's have a quick look at what dent has been building in the past four years so we know that dent was um, in the is in the crypto market space for around three and more than three and a half years now uh, they started at 2017 and we are going to see uh, the different product features and product ranges they have been built uh, since 2017 so they launched their product called Dent Exchange in 2018. So that was a, a big hit and they managed to get 25 million users using their mobile app and the Dent Exchange. And then they built something called Dent Voice. So Dent Voice allows you to make voice over IP calls and that, that was built in 2018 as well. So they have something called Afterburner which is like a loyalty program, which allows you to use your, it's pretty much like staking. You you hold your, lock your tokens, and then you get free voice minutes. It's not staking, but it's a, a product feature loyalty for loyalty program, which allows you to get free voice minutes and rewards and referral bonuses if you're trading in that exchange. And then they have Dent Ian, so which is pretty much like an advertisement channel. So in the app, you can see advertisements and earn free, free tokens. So that's another app feature they have. And they built another product called ETH Scanner. So which allows you to uh, track your wallets, ETH, uh, ERC20 wallets. So these are the products. Then they have marketplace where you can trade your mobile data globally. And then you have top-ups where you can send mobile top-ups to anyone in 140 countries. So these are the products which have been uh, since 2018. The Since 2020, the shift changed to eSIM. So eSIM is basically a, a new technology that all the smartphone companies are uh, adopting. So you're, in the future, we are going to see more of eSIM phones. And then they built a product called Dent Teams. So this is a prime uh, one where you they have a separate portal called Dent Teams and here you can share your mobile data with others, friends and family and that's a key feature uh, that they built since 2020 and they have uh, another product which is called Dent Gigastore which I cannot show now which is in the making and probably hoping to be uh, arriving in this month so these are the product ranges. They have a wide range of products and uh, all are business focused and targeted toward getting more customers. So their products are, are very attractive and they, ca they can get more, not just retail users, they, they are targeting business users as well. So that Dent Giga Store, which is going to be launched in this quarter is going to be a, a big milestone in the Dent's uh, past four years. This will allow to create more resellers for and uh, businesses to sell mobile data on their portal. So from my opinion, eSIM and Dent teams have been around for a year now. So I would strongly recommend downloading the app, Dent app and give it a try for yourself because that would give you an idea of what they are doing and how the product is used and what is the market and how easy the mobile app is and sign up for the dent exchange as well so they have an exchange actually so if you look at dent token it, it has got a real utility you can buy mobile data in 80 countries now using their tokens so the tokens have a direct utility it's not something like a dodge token where there is no utility other than speculative nature so the token allows you to buy a wide range of assets particularly mobile telco assets which allows you uh, that allows you to buy the data against tokens. So, so if you look at the recent market trend, they have um, the price has been pretty stagnant. You can see here. So this is one week chart, and then if I go on a one month chart, and we have a three month chart as well, and six months. So it's pretty much. Um, stagnated I would say um, but even though on the product side they are doing pretty good um, and there are tons of tokens um, which have done incredibly well like if you look at this synthetics token it has done like 
thousand two hundred and ninety nine percent, and you have chain link, which has done like seven hundred percent. So this, from from my opinion, um, debt is added for a very huge raise um, in twenty twenty one, particularly when they start their twenty 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 one marketing. So if you look at the roadmap, their roadmap is pretty clear, and they're they are building up. Uh, qu quite a lot of uh, telco, telco infrastructure and they have lots of other features coming up as well they are trying to connect dent to app with popular messaging apps like iMessage WhatsApp and Facebook messengers so that's going to be very popular as well so now you can share your data as if you're sending a text message and so yes yeah, I would strongly recommend uh, downloading the, their mobile app uh, from App Store or Play Store and register and uh, do your KYC and AML and they already have a 25 million user base so I would strongly recommend um, downloading their app that will give you an idea of what the product is how they are building and that will give you a clear picture of the of their business model as well and you can clearly see the, that there are tons of tokens which are um, don't have a product and a business model still they are doing quite well so i don't see any reason why dent would uh, have a one of those spikes um, in in the coming days so if you look at dogecoin dogecoin has done incredibly well but it doesn't have any product or anything except a, a speculative nature so from my opinion dent is is perfectly positioned for this year for a huge spike and considering all those tokens have hype and dent hasn't gone up this is going to be a huge opportunity for a lot of people looking for cheaper altcoins so dent is one of the altcoin which has a huge strong fundamental business fundamental and it hasn't spiked or hyped in past four years so that could be a reason now that 2021 could be a perfect season for dent so yeah thanks for watching and have a good day bye